So this is Sony's latest on-camera shotgun microphone. It's called the ECM M1. So it's probably Sony's most extensive on-camera microphone for two reasons. The one is the sheer amount of pickup patterns that you have with this microphone. And the second reason is how it deals and handles with its fail-safe audio recording feature. So it does something incredibly handy when it comes to capturing audio. And now that I know this feature exists, it's something that I'll definitely be using in the future. So let's start off with the eight directional patterns. We have three different front facing patterns that we can choose from. It's the unidirectional, the super directional, and also the ultra directional pattern. So at the moment I'm recording into the A6700 because my A7 III doesn't have a multi-interface shoe. So I was sent all of this by Sony South Africa to test out the M1 for myself. So currently I'm on unidirectional and this is what it sounds like. And as we work our way through the different directional patterns, it increases in directionality. So this is what it sounds like with the unidirectional pattern. I'm gonna switch over to the super directional. Okay, so I got it in super directional. This is what it sounds like. So I'm alongside a busy intersection in a parking lot. So you should be hearing cars going past. But as we increase in directionality with the microphone, the voice should be a lot more focused at the moment. So this is the super directional pattern. And this should be the ultra directional pattern. If you go off axis like that, with the ultra directional pattern, it should, I wouldn't say noise cancel the voice completely out. What I've picked up with this one in particular is that it kind of sounds like, you know, it's doing a little bit of noise cancellation. I don't have noise cancellation on, but this is just to give you a sense more or less of what it sounds like on these different front facing directional patterns. So as we work our way through the different patterns, we actually increase in directionality. So what this microphone has, and I'm gonna switch over to that. This is the rear super directional pattern. This is equal to the front facing super directional pattern, works in the same exact way. If I switch over, so this is called a figure of eight super directional pattern. If we go with the figure of eight pattern, I'm gonna switch over to it now. It equally picks up the front and the rear pattern. If you're behind the microphone and you're speaking to someone that is in front of the microphone, you can have those signals equally. So what's cool about this is that you'll be able to capture what's behind the camera as well as in front of the camera in equal amplitude. So the other one to switch over, which is exactly the same or similar to the figure of eight, is a figure of eight left and right. So at the moment, the microphone is capturing me from the rear, but now it's also on the right channel. If I switch it over to this side, it is picking me up from the front, but now it's on the left channel. So what's cool about this function is that I'm able to control each level front and rear so that I can adjust it in post-production. So talking about left and right, we have a stereo function. So, so what often happens is when you use a conventional shotgun microphone that captures in, in mono, your camera loses the stereo functionality. So it's great to have this option where you're capturing the audio in stereo. So the last and final pattern that I want to select is the omnidirectional pattern. So this is capturing the feed in all different directions as I swing the camera around and round. This is omnidirectional. I think most people do know what omnidirectional is, but this is what omnidirectional sounds like. And that is such a cool feature to have, to have all of these different pickup patterns. And speaking about the omnidirectional, this camera has a feature that is so cool that I think it sets it apart from any other microphone that you find on the market, but unfortunately it's only available with a camera that has a multi-interface shoe connector. It has a fail-safe backup recording function when you are recording voice. If you have a multi-interface enabled camera, you have the ability to switch over to four-channel recording. Channel one and two is capturing your stereo feed. 
Channels three and four is capturing in omnidirectional. But also what is fantastic is that channel four is capturing this at minus 20 dB. So that means that if you are shouting, this is the loudest that I can talk and I'm moving, you get the point. So what is happening is that it's capturing at minus 20 dB. And that means that you've always have clear audio all of the time. So if something does happen, you are covered from that perspective. So something that's also fantastic is that when you're recording in any of the front facing directional patterns and someone is saying something and you don't have it on omnidirectional in the fail safe backup system, will be able to capture that in channels three and four and you've got that audio locked in. That is what makes this microphone such an amazing microphone. Outside of that, you don't need any cables, you don't need any power, it works through the multi-interface connector. This is the ECM B10. So you can see it doesn't have as many selectable patterns but also what is noteworthy is as how much bigger this microphone is compared to the, let me show you, to the M1. Check how much smaller the M1 is and it is packed with so much features. So this is the standard microphone that I've always used. That's what that looks like. This is the B10, the ECM B10. Look at the sheer difference in size. Look at the sheer difference in size in that. So other features that the ECM M1 has is attenuation adjustment. So it's zero, 10 dBs and plus 20 dBs I generally just keep it on zero because I like to control my levels. So other features that it has is a different filter. So there is a low cut pass filter. I'm gonna switch over to that. That's what the low cut pass filter sounds like. And if I switch over to the next one, this is something that a lot of people would find valuable and handy, is the, is the noise cancellation function. This should sound a lot better, but if you have any opinions about this microphone, anything that I've said so far, please comment down below. Tell me what you think about it. And while you're at it, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button if you want to be notified for future videos similar to this. And also let me know, is there anything else you would like me to also capture in a future video? Quick comparison to the M1, and this is what the B10 sounds like. At the moment, I am in the super directional pattern. This is what it sounds like. I'm gonna switch over to the unidirectional pattern. So that's what that sounds like. This is the unidirectional pattern. And then it has a third selectable pattern, which is omnidirectional. And that's what that sounds like with omnidirectional. I appreciate something like a super directional pattern. The focus is on whatever's in front of it and at the same time minimizes the noise that's in and around. It doesn't completely cancel. For that, you need the noise cancellation function, which the B10 has. Noise cancellation, that's what it sounds like with the noise cancellation switch on the B10. Another little neat microphone is the G1. So this one isn't as extensive and comprehensive as the other two microphones. This is a little tiny little microphone um, that does a lot of the stuff internally. If you have a multi-interface shoe, this microphone is ideal for vloggers. That's what it looks like on, a, on an APS-C camera. The M1, I think, is the ideal shotgun microphone for any Sony user to have. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so. I am super thankful and grateful for Sony South Africa for sending out these, these things to test. Unfortunately, I have to send it back. Cool stuff. Thank you so much for watching the video. And until next time, cheers!